Uh, so today we are carrying on with our macro keyboard. Yeah, so the chat is working, beautiful. Um, so as you guys know, we were lucky enough, I know some of you aren't very happy about it, but we can use Altium now. So I want to start incorporating Altium in our, in our videos and channel and stuff. That does not mean we will not do KiCad tutorials. We are still doing KiCad tutorials. Um, but I just want to introduce Altium to you guys as well because we've got many different people on this channel, right? So there's people who want to use it for companies, there's people who want to use it for hobbies. So we want to help everyone with that. Um, so, But as always, if you guys have questions about anything, let, just let us know and we'll make videos about it. Yeah, so that works. So what I did, um, what I'm start, going to start doing is I'm making a lot of projects where we're using the same uh, circuits quite regularly. So in KiCad, I made a, a sheet. So I'm going to close this. So you can see I'm starting to make a top level. So I've got my my cherries, uh, I've got my microphone pickup, my SDM. So I'm going to start making sheets. Um, so that means, what that actually just means is next time if I want to use a nine cherry in a different project, I can just take this and take it over. So you can see each one is their own type of schematic. Uh, so, but I want to carry on with this today because I'm going to probably have to redo some stuff to make it be able to use an Altium. So this is the circuit I'm going to use to try to pick up um, voice when you're playing games and you want to be notified when someone's talking to you and you've got the headphones on, it's noise cancelling and then I'm going to use something like this. So it's just a, a amplifier that will amplify the microphone, pick up and then output and we'll read it from the Arduino pin. Uh, if there's any questions please just let me know. So basically we just have a resistor to give power to the microphone but because this power is DC we don't want the DC signal to go to my op amp so I put a capacitor in series and as we know the capacitor stops the DC going only AC can go through the capacitor we've got this resistor just to play with the volume would I say uh, capacitor here is for the gain so if you look at the data sheet you can make a certain capacitor 2200 gain and then we just have a bypass to make sure there's no issue with the stability and yeah that's about it uh, so these are called um, ports place port so ports so ports are for the I should actually make a port so I took it from the keycad so port is basically just going from sheet to sheet so if you see this these are ports so button one button two button three so I take the schematic to the outside world and then I use uh, net labels for the inside so it's like programming we have local and uh, glo local and global variables it's the same thing so that's what we're going to start doing so I'm going to focus on this today finish this circuit and then maybe we should start making small parts of it to test as we go uh, because we're going to add a lot of parts to it right that was the plan so if we can test the circuit by circuit so I order these components I will put it on the breadboard to make sure it actually works before we order uh, but yeah let's get started making this Altium worthy uh, what I like about Altium when it comes to components uh, I could never use this as a, at, the, at my company or not my company place I was working at because when a company makes uh, PCBs they normally control their own library so the way they make footprints the way they set it up in a in a database is quite controlled so you never get to use just already made footprints it's always a very controlled situation which is understandable um, so we use the data structure from uh, Nexus so yeah so but now i can use it as a hobby person so i can just go to manufacturing parts search which is quite cool and that's quite nice now you can see that it's not connected to each other schematic will always have inputs and outputs so if i want um, things that's not controlled by this schematic is things like my vcc my ground and my output my output needs to go somewhere so when i just quickly look at it there's three three aspects that i need to take out of the sheet into the next sheet 
if that makes sense. So I have to compile it first. CC, CC was compiled, right? Well, that was on the. So if we go design, create sheet symbol from sheet, and then we can choose one. And then you can see the three stuff we designed the VCC ground. So let's make it a bit smaller. So I can open it and I go to it. So on the top level, I can import my VCC ground and then I'll output my signal that I want to process to my microcontroller. So that's quite handy. So in future, if I've got another project that wants to use a sound in imitator, I can just use that circuit, the schematic, and just use it in my next project. So it goes for the ESP32. I've done the schematic like 100 times. So I never did this. I should have done it. So that means my three balls will go in. I will go into my sheet here. And then I'll go in my VCC into this VCC and do its magic. And also, as I deleted that other two green sheets there, you can see here that only my one schematic is part of the top schematic. So you can see on the left-hand side here uh, how it breaks it up. So what's happening the whole time that's what I'm clicking here is when I click on uh, this, it opens Octopod. So if you don't know Octopod, Octopod is just a website where you can search a part number and it'll show you which com company has it. Uh, the stock they have and the price is quite nice. Uh, tools animate, annotate, annotate, annotate. So when you annotate schematic quietly, it will just fill in the designators that is not filled in. So see, it will just do and leave the ones that is filled in. So now we basically have nice connectors. Uh, the output. A cool thing about Altium as well is. If I go left to right, you can see I can highlight like this. It only highlights what's inside the square. But if I go right to left, it will highlight everything that the line touches. So as you can see like that, um, this will only take... You see, so only what's inside the box. So only my three is inside the box. But this way, it highlights everything. Just a nice to know... Um, trick let's see now I'm gonna design update so these are links that um, links your schematic and your your PCB so R18 R18 so I removed some of the um, footprints of that's already on the PCB so if we go back to the PCB so we'll tell you we'll add this or I'll add net names add uh, rooms undo rooms when you want to ignore an uh, <laughs> error in Altium you can actually just paste a no uh, generic no ERC <laughs> and then we'll stop complaining but only do that if you know it's really not an issue don't just put that stuff there the green is errors when there's errors so Altium has a thing called rooms, and it's this. I uh, just want to get the room for... So you can create rooms where you have to actually build your uh, PCB routing inside of this little room. Um, it's actually mostly used for if you want to copy and paste a lot of circuits. Then I can create the circuit in this little room and I can copy and paste the room all over the circuit. I don't use it quite often. I don't like rooms. I just delete it. Uh, Keycard, we used to be able to click and then it shows up here. You can do that the same, but you just have to say uh, probe, I think. Yeah, and then it does like that. That's quite strange. You can have active probing, I think. Um, tools. Yeah, so I think that's it. Or not yes so if I click on it I should highlight it so that's it so let's start from so we got the mic um, so on top of here we have our screens we have um, the USB ports uh, we want the mic to probably face the front right as you can see my art control is not going anywhere so if we look here 
Uh, once I put this to the microcontroller uh, that we don't have yet. So I did the microcontroller here. Uh, we'll do that as well. You can see all the ports. So let's say I take a sheet uh, like we've done. So place sheet. Double click on it to open the properties, file name, ST, choose it. And now let's try to create sheet from Shishin Bar. There we go. Um, It's not ideal, it's not very pretty, but just want to show you guys. So we're going to say, I want to take it to BB15. So let's just go through how the sheet actually works. So I've got my three volts that will come from my voltage regulator. I will go into the sheet. If I open the sheet, but uh, open sheet, which is this. So that three volts go there, give power to this circuit, and then I've got an output. It's important for the grounds to be the same. And this output will then go to this PB15, which is, yeah. So you can see how the ports are linking the pages together. So there we can see, we went from we went from a schematic we had, we made a sheet for it. Uh, we had inputs and we outputs and we took that output into a new sheet. And there you can see that the sheets are actually connected. So my control, my out is going to my, so if I say PT for place track. You'll see it's connected. So I'll just root this to show you guys the basics of routing in Altium, and then I'll probably call it a, a stream. I want to make some tutorials today uh, on KiCad and Altium. So please guys, if you have ideas of the tutorials you want me to do, myself or carry you then please say. Because it's quite long to get through some quick tips and stuff. This is basically just a nice chill Sunday afternoon stream. Sunday morning, whatever. Cool. So to place a track, you push P for place. So place is quite a popular thing in Altium. Just put P and then see what happens. Place track. And then once you click on it, it will tell you where to go. So I need to go down here. The nice thing about Altium is if I already start routing, I can push tab and a property thing will come up. So then I can change uh, the width of the track, uh, some settings, not important, important now. Um, yeah. And I also think that you can, uh, so if I click with the layer and I go, this way I can just place a wire when you go through different levels. Hmm. Okay. To place track. It wants me to go there. To the grounds later. So see, it's very similar to our uh, keycad. PCB design's principles are used everywhere. So now we're going to do copper pore again. So place copper pore, I think. Polygon pore, so that's what they call it. So as last time, I like to have my top is 343, and my bottom is ground. So you can see it's very small gaps here. At the bottom here are some layers. Uh, you can go, you can somewhere hide your 
polygon pause shelf so it's polygon pause shelf pause we'll take it away this is the top layer so we wanted to get the bottom layer so we're going to put a wire place wire and let's first Place fire. The ground. We got more ground. Oh, that's just not connected. Uh, so we'll have a mark there. And then as the mark we talk, we'll put on some LEDs with the mark controller. I hope that was helpful. Uh, next time we'll talk about some keep outs uh, because when you look at uh, this where's my shelves reporting like this is very small this gap here so I want to talk about um, rules setting up rules to make sure that your copper is far enough from your tracks and things like that also keep out border on the side of the, so this copper here on the side of the board is quite close that's not a lot so you normally have a keep out layer at the bottom here uh, keep out keep um, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to make some videos um, explaining a bit more about this because on Sundays I just want to let us chat and if there's any questions we can do it in person. But I'll make detailed videos about how the circuit works, uh, why we chose it, and just some tips and tricks about KiCad, Altium, and any questions you guys have. Uh, hope you guys have a good Sunday. Uh, be productive. Have a good week. Until next Sunday. Uh, next week we we'll probably carry on with uh, add the mic controller, all the components here. We've got the Cherry MX, and then I think we'll start slowly but surely come together. And then yeah, maybe I should order the circuit by itself to test it. I'm going to build it and then we can test it. Thanks for joining, Andrew. Uh, guys, have a great day. I'm a bit tired today. I don't know. It's a lazy Sunday. Uh, whatever you're doing enjoy it till next time guys appreciate you guys watching uh, please join our discord channel below uh, that's where we chat have fun but besides that cool thanks bye